Thank you for tuning in to Race Grooves. It's time for another unboxing video. Here we have Johnny Lightning Street Freaks. This is the B case. That's the A case. Now, I knew that round two was going to be sending me these cases, but uh, I couldn't wait when I found these on the pegs at Walmart. Yeah, I collect red, white, and blue. And these should be in these cases, but one's the A case, one's the B case. I'm not sure. I'll let you have a look at the back of the card while I'm unboxing. As you can see, there's going to be six cars, and there'll be uh, two colors. Uh, there'll be an alternate color in the other case. Check out right here. If you want to open up your car, you can cut the blister and set your car free. If you want to keep it in the blister, you can put it right back. Kind of an innovative design. Me, personally, you know, these big cars, they take up a lot of space. I like, I like to open up my cars. Because then I could better appreciate them. Appreciate the quality, the metal bases. Well, actually, I shouldn't say that. I'm not sure if these have metal bases or not. Uh, you're also going to note that some of these are going to have plastic tires. Not all Johnny Lightning models have uh, rubber tires. Nonetheless, still premium die cast. Nice scale. Had the tape come up a little bit, but as you can, as you can tell, it has not been uh, opened. Nice to get tissue in there. Try to minimize the scuffing of the blisters. Let's take a look. Now, as you've seen on the back of the package right here, even though it's a Street Freaks is the name of the batch, there's actually sub-series. You have Zingers. That's a Zinger right there. They have the uh, lifted, the rake look. Zingers, spoilers, American Glory. Well, you know which one that one is. And Black with Flames, this is another fantastic series to collect. Uh, I'm looking forward to that one as well. These two right here are two of my favorite series to collect. This one I collect uh, you know, here and there. And spoilers are very nice too. Uh, personally, I prefer them with rubber tires. Oh, that was the Black with Flames piece right there. Personally, I like the rubber tires. I mean the plastic tires for downhill racing. Now, if you like to collect them, then of course you like uh, rubber tires. We'll take a look at the uh, how to open the package later on. There's these two. Now for Johnny Lightning, we're looking for... Oh, so now I know that this version is from the A case. But here's American Glory, the 1958 Plymouth Belvedere, 1972 Buick Riviera, Riviera for the Spoilers series. And Spoilers, as far as I recall, generally has a racing circle with a uh, racing number and a blown engine open... Hood. Uh, that's my recollection generally what the uh, spoiler series is. And there's another Zingers. Lifted look. I didn't see any white lining. We're looking for white interior and uh, white wheels. That designates the white lining. White linings are 2% uh, of the run. So it's pretty, pretty rare to get a white lining. Nice, nice to find one. This Galaxy 500, black with flames, as you can see, black with flames. It's kind of a fun series to collect. Now let's go ahead and open up the alternate, oops. <laughs> I forgot they were stuck together. Not stuck together, but you know. Now let's open the B case. And after this, I'll put them on the turntable so you let you see some uh, of the better details. Right now, we're just kind of enjoying the unboxing. Who knows? Might find a chase piece. Hey, that's a nice color. That's a nice color for the Chevy Nova. Nice purple. Chevy Camaro, spoiler eyes. Mm, wow, this one's pretty similar to the other one. Uh, I'll compare them afterwards as far as the color. And the flames are a lot more uh, obvious on this one. With it being the silver paint on the other one, it's kind of uh, subtle, kind of like a ghost flames. Doesn't You might not notice it right at first. 
And once again, you know that uh, round two sent these to me. Thank you very much so that I can review them. And let collectors know about their cool die cast. Downhill racing fans are gonna like this batch. A lot of a lot of cars with plastic tires. And see uh see white plastic tires. Oh my. Well that was a nice surprise. Instead of getting the orange version of the 1963 Chevy Nova, got a white lightning, and that's what I was talking about for chase pieces. White body, white tires, uh, no tampo. They didn't put the uh, printing on there for the tampo. So it's a uh, pearl white, I believe, is the color that they actually use for this. Uh, it might be kind of hard to tell the difference. I've never been really good. If you see it in person, it's really like white, white, like uh, uh, sometimes you put on the walls. This one's a little bit uh, not quite white, white. But there you go. This is what the white lightning is going to look like for the first year. Like if you were to happen to find uh, this model right here, it would have white tires and a white paint job. And by the way, black interior. I'm not going to open this one up. Normally, I would open up my cars, but this car right now is over a $60 car. And it's not one that I'm going to put on the track. I don't even know if it, yeah, it looks like it fits on the track. I think I'll keep this one in the package. Let me go ahead and test out the resealable package. Right here, you're going to want to cut along this line on the inside with a uh, knife. If I mess this up, it's no big deal because I'm not going to keep the package anyways. Just cut it open, slide it along right here. There you go. Pop it open. Now you can... Uh, oh, I didn't cut it all the way. Look, I missed a part. You tore that off. But if you cut it all the way, that would pop right open. You can take your car. You can display a loose. You can check it out. Do whatever you want, actually. If you want to put it back in the package, just put it right back in. There you go. Can't even tell as long as you uh, cut it properly. Here you have the 1963 Chevy Nova, and it has Nova right there up on the printing. There's the blown engine. You can see the engine compartment. Dark interior. You can see the steering wheel and whatnot. These have metal bases, but these parts here, my recollection, it's uh, yeah, plastic. These are chromed plastic, these additions right here. As you can tell, this looks like the base that they would use on a regular version of this Nova. Now, uh, I'm not going to talk about all the details. You should know the details by now of the Johnny Lightning brand or RC2. Tail lights, printing, silver trim around the windows. You're going to see uh, headlights coming up. And here is the alternate color. Love that orange. Sometimes orange, I'm not a big fan. But uh, you know what? Both these colors look fantastic for this model right here. I forgot to show you the collector cards that are included with each package. Now, I don't know why the, um, the Zinger versions, they have like a fantasy name up in the corner. But you'll see with the other cars coming up that uh, they have the name of the car up there. The backs of all the cars are the same. You just get uh, nice printing on the front to go with the model. 1970 Plymouth GTX. Here is one of the color samples. And the other one was this purple. Oh yeah, I got a piece of track too. Just, just curious if they fit, if I'm going to do downhill racing, because I have a nice little setup for me to do downhill racing. Let me see, do they fit in the track? It looks it. Do they rub on the edge? Mm, yeah, a little snug. Might not be able to use these in downhill racing. The front, front, front wheels are okay. They're slender, but you got fat slicks in the back. Oh well, that's all right. They look good when they're on display. Mm, that's probably what most people use them for anyways. Again, the Plymouth GTX has custom cards with custom names. It does not have the name of the model on the front. And all the cards, I won't show you the back anymore. All the cards are exactly the same. Up next, the 1976 Chevy Camaro. Since these have blown engines, they do not have opening hoods. Two of these cars do have opening features. They'll be the last two out of the bunch that I show today. There's your spoiler racing circle with the racing number. 
and a blown engine. By the way, these are two-piece wheels. Those rims are not painted, okay? That's a, a, a chromed insert. So this way, if they release the car again, or they can use these wheels lots of times, but they can change the hubcap cover or the, or the rims to give it a new look. Up next, the 1972 Buick Riviera for the spoiler series. I don't know about this one being in the series. It, mm, it's kind of an interesting model to choose to give it uh, the spoiler treatment. But, you know, hey, you got a nice variety, different models. Looks like they made like a $100 bill on the side of it. And the alternate color. This one looked like they just flipped the colors. They use uh, one color for the roof. No, actually, it's different. It's about the same. It's close, but it's not the same. Maybe that's the same. Actually, maybe if I do it this way, we can see better. Yeah, pretty much same colors. So they just uh, reverse the colors on each model. Again, headlights, taillights, license plates. All cars in this batch have plastic tires. That's something to consider, if it matters to you. 1958 Plymouth Belvedere. I generally don't keep the cards, but I'm keeping these two. Here's your opening hoods on both models. And there's a look at the engines. Very nice, nice realism, realistic details. That's what you would get with the Johnny Lightning brand. Lots of details, all that paint trim. Metal bases, authentic licensed models. While some people will say, well, how come the uh, plastic tires cost the same as the ones with the rubber tires? Well, you know, that's just the way it goes. You're still paying for details, right? That's that's the quality of the die cast that we're buying. This is a, this is also a casting that I really like to collect, in uh, in all brands. I really like to uh, collect this casting right here. Last but not least, representing the Black with Flame series, you have the 1963 Ford Galaxy 500. Nice flames, opening hood, got an engine inside. There's your headlights, authentic lo logos. Yeah, Black with Flames is a nice subset to collect. It's, uh, we, we'll use the initials BWF when we're referring to the uh, Black with Flames series, BWF. Sometimes I use it in my posts when I'm posting in the Race Grooves community on Facebook. Yeah, this is a beauty too. Pretty good batch. I do pick up a few zingers here and there, especially if they are a patriotic or a Black with Flames deco. But I know other collectors like them. This Galaxy right here. Yep, I would pick this one up too. It's nice to finally get a chase in one of my unboxing videos. It goes to show you how hard they are to find. Have you been able to find any on the pegs? You know, it's kind of nice. You're out hunting and you see a chase piece, you pick it up. Now, if if I were out there hunting, and like I said, I don't particularly collect uh, these zingers, but ain't no way I'm leaving this on the pegs. I tell you that right now. I already got quite a few of these. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.